The Battle of Karkar was fought in 853 BCE, when the army of the Neo-Assyrian Empire led by Emperor Shalmaneser III encountered an allied army of eleven kings at Karkar led by Hadadezer, called in Assyrian Adidjur and possibly to be identified with King Benhadad II of Aram Damascus, and Ahab, King of Israel. This battle, fought during the 854-846 BC Assyrian conquest of Aram, is notable for having a larger number of combatants than any previous battle, and for being the first instance in which some peoples enter recorded history, such as the Arabs. The battle is recorded on the Kirk monoliths. The ancient town of Karkar at which the battle took place has generally been identified with the modern-day archaeological site of Tel Karkar near the village of Karkar in Hamar Governorate, northwestern Syria. According to an inscription later erected by Shalmaneser, he had started his annual campaign, leaving Nineveh on the fourteenth day of Iyar. He crossed both the Tigris and Euphrates without incident, receiving the submission and tribute of several cities along the way, including Aleppo. Once past Aleppo he encountered his first resistance from troops of Irulini, king of the Luvian state of Hamar, whom he defeated, in retribution, he plundered both the palaces and the cities of Irulini's kingdom. Continuing his march after having sacked Karkar, he encountered the allied forces near the Orontes River. Chapter 1, Twelve Kings Twelve Kings is an Akkadian term meant to symbolize any kind of alliance. The most famous example is in the Kirk monoliths, where an alliance of eleven kings are listed as twelve in the Assyrian document as fighting against Assyrian king Shalmaneser III in the Battle of Karkar. Shalmaneser's inscription describes the forces of his opponent Hadadezer in considerable detail as follows. King Hadadezer himself commanded 1,200 chariots, 1,200 horsemen and 20,000 soldiers. King Urulini of Hamath commanded 700 chariots, 700 horsemen and 10,000 soldiers. King Ahab of Israel sent 2,000 chariots and 10,000 soldiers. The kingdom of Kurgu Air identified as Kuei Cilicia sent 500 soldiers. The land of Kur Muaz Ra identified as Masura, which is the outlet of the Dudan River, sent 1,000 soldiers. The land of Urkanata sent ten chariots and ten thousand soldiers. King Matanu Baal of Arwad sent two hundred soldiers. The land of Uzanata sent two hundred soldiers. King Adanu Baal of Uznatu, figures lost. King Jindibu of Arabia sent one thousand camel cavalry. King Basa, son of Ruby, of the land of Ammon sent 100 soldiers. The number of forces sent in by Ahab is a subject of controversy among scholars, since it seems unlikely that the Kingdom of Israel could possess an army superior to that of the Kingdom of Aram Damascus. The number of chariots in Ahab's forces was probably closer to a number in the hundreds. Archaeologist Nadav Naaman believes it to be a scribal error in regard to the size of Ahab's army and suggested that he sent 200 instead of 2,000 chariots. Another possible explanation is that the forces attributed to Ahab include those belonging to his allies, such as the Kingdom of Judah, the Kingdom of Tyre and the Kingdom of Moab, however, those kingdoms aren't named in the monolith. Chapter 2 Battle Shalmaneser boasts that his troops inflicted 14,000 casualties upon the allied army, capturing countless chariots and horses, and describes the damage he inflicted on his opponents in savage detail. However, the royal inscriptions from this period are notoriously unreliable. They never directly acknowledge defeats and sometimes claim victories that were actually won by ancestors or predecessors. If Shalmaneser had won a clear victory at Karkar, it did not immediately lead to further Assyrian conquests in Syria. Assyrian records make it clear that he campaigned in the region several more times in the following decade, engaging Hadadezer six times, who was supported by Irulini of Hamar at least twice. Shalmaneser's opponents held on to their thrones after this battle, though Ahab of Israel died shortly afterwards in an unrelated battle, Hadadezer was king of Damascus until at least 841 BCE 